I'm Fox 4's Austin Shagorotsky reporting from Case Road in LaBelle. People will meet here at this church to talk about what can be done to make State Road 29 safer. We all have children and we must make changes. Laura Escobedo lost her nephew on this road about three weeks ago. A hit and run driver killed 15 year old Eduardo Escobedo while he was riding his bike. The driver still hasn't been found and Eduardo's family is worried more families could lose someone. This road is not safe at all, by all means. A child should be able to have or should have the right to ride a bike and not be victimized the way Eduardo was. One week later, there was another hit and run. FHP said a vehicle veered off SR-29 and crashed into an industrial fire hydrant, spilling more than 85,000 gallons of purified water. Something needs to be done. Then, just two days later, FHP says a dump truck turned in front of a pickup on SR-29 and the vehicles crashed head on. The driver and passenger in the pickup were killed and three others had to go to the hospital. So that's why the community here called this meeting to discuss with the county the possibility of installing speed humps and street lighting on these roads. There's a lot of things that's needed and, and right now the county is addressing that issue and uh, and I'm proud of them. Hendry County said that there used to be rumble strips on Case Road, but they were removed because people complained about the noise. So recently, the county sent out letters to landowners. The county says if at least 70% of the people respond and want speed humps, and at least 51% want new lights, then they will move forward with a plan to install them. I believe as a community and as parents, uncles, we can do this. We can do this together. The people who live here tell me they hope this is a first step towards making the roads in this area safer for everyone. In LaBelle, I'm Austin Shagorodsky, Fox 4 News.